Good morning guys, hello and welcome to a new vlog, another day from Mexico City. That's the hotel where I'm staying at. So I checked in last night as you saw in the previous vlog, but it was already dark by the time we got here. So didn't do much, just walked around one block, went to one of the street stalls, had a bunch of tacos. Tried to communicate with a few locals, but it was just mostly like hand gestures because it's like hardcore Spanish. But yeah, so today we start exploring. So as it turns out, I'm not in one of those typical touristy neighborhoods of Mexico City, um, Rosa, Condesa, I think those are the ones that everybody recommends people to stay. I just did a random selection and I, I think based on my limited sleep deprived uh, investigation I did last night, I am close to the historic center in uh, Mexico City. So I'm just trying to walk around town, get a sense of feeling, get a sense of this locality, buildings around and then eventually we'll hit the historic center so i'm gonna check out the vibes there and what it's and also like in terms of the vibes of the city so far it's been very welcoming also i'm loving the weather nice and hot just the way i like it and there's plenty of police presence all around so it seems pretty safe so far <music> Their national flag is really big. Might not appear so on the video, but it's like one of those big national flags is sort of like a landmark, which also makes sense because this is the historic center. I don't know what's up with all these tents in the background. Could be a homeless encampment, could be something else. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, yeah, there are a lot of these like buildings with historic architecture around and one of these is supposed to be the palace as well i don't know i still have to orient myself what is there but it's like one of those typical squares where every building around has a significance so let me try and understand what is where and then we'll continue the vlog and see what's around while walking around I came up on some sort of like a market street so it's behind the cathedral that I saw they were also doing some sort of like uh, rituals purification rituals so I saw that for a bit and then I walked away and I ended up at this kind of like 
market square there's like there, there's a lot of cultural similarity here small street vendors and they seem to be very textile heavy so maybe their textile industry is really big here but yeah they also have like a, every couple of shops there's like a small street food shop as well starting to be a bit hungry seeing all this awesome food so maybe i'll grab something to eat in a bit for now just like suddenly the vibes change from a historic district with monuments and tourists and stuff to like all locals just shopping around I forgot to share a really funny story so as you can imagine people here mostly rely on Spanish and I barely speak a word in Spanish so yesterday when I was at the street stall trying to grab them tacos um, I wanted five of them but I had no idea how to count to five I only know like um, one two and three because of the Enrique Iglesias song so what I did instead was um, I ordered three first and then two after and because I repeated the order so the guys understood it was good so they kept saying thumbs up and buenos and stuff so starting to pick up vocabulary in an immersive environment can't form a sentence yet but at least like a few words here and there so that's a good start starting to be a bit hungry with all this walking around been walking around this market square for quite a bit lots and lots of shops never ending starting to be a bit hungry so trying to navigate through the crowds and find a reasonable restaurant where I could sit down and eat. Found one street side shop but it was like the only free table was right next to the gas stove. And it's really hot today so I don't feel like melting. Done with the lunch. The timing was perfect. I was hungry stumbled upon this random restaurant with a tarp on the top so it was pretty convenient open outdoor spacing and then it rained a bit as well so it was better to just stay there take shelter from the rain and eat some food as well it turned out to be some sort of like mexican schnitzel of sorts um, i have no idea what i was ordering i was just randomly experimenting with something it was tasty and quite filling anyway starting the exploration back again try and see what else i was looking i just randomly took off from the historic center and just started exploring somewhere else turned out to be a textile market of sorts so now going back to the landmarks So I just got here back to the main square where the national flag was and it's just 2.30 p.m. and I stumbled upon a change of guard ceremony. The soldiers came and they took down the flag for the day. I thought normally it's at sunset but it's just 2.30 p.m. so I don't know why now but it was just an opportune moment, right time, right opportunity so I took that in the vlog as well. But yeah, so that was the municipal cathedral so I went inside here already. Then that seems to be a building of national significance there's like police army everything deployed there those seem to be the shops there in this two and sort of shopping complex so let's see what else we can see here from here i see this big building down there which is the latin american tower so it's just a nice observatory you can go up there and have a nice view um, i normally don't go up observatories but planning to go that way because I haven't explored that street just yet so maybe we get a closer look of the observatory from from the ground floor looks like 
like this is a food, jewelry and high-end branded shopping side of district. Completely different vibes out this side. so I stopped by to take a look from the outside. It was the Museum of Arts, I think, and it's like a combo theater as well for theatrical performances. There's a nice park here, there's like fountains and stuff. I'm gonna find a nice place and chill for a bit. And this direction looks nice. I'm gonna keep exploring this side, walking a little bit outside of the historic center. Park is really cool as a it's a pretty big city park has lots of fountains all around you can pick one has lots of nice benches pretty clean and a lot of these like small street vendors all along so you can grab some snacks if you want to found a nice shady spot just resting for a bit and then we'll continue exploring Finally found some nice relief from the heat. It has rained twice, once when I was eating and once when the flag was being taken down by the soldiers. It's still like the sun is back in full bloom and everything is dried out in like one hour. So peak heat. It's nice fresh tender coconut. When I went to return the coconut, they asked if I wanted chopped and have the cream of the inside. So I chopped it up, added some, I guess, red chili, squeezed some lime and some spices. This is the first time I'm having the cream of the coconut inside like this. Let's see how this is. It is really nice. Kind of like cucumber salad with different consistency. This is nice. I'll try this at home as well. While I was enjoying the cream of the coconut, it started raining again. So it's like all third, third round. So grandma told me to hide under the tarp. So I was finishing it up here, ate half of it, grabbed half of it. It's like in a plastic bag, so I can carry it around easily. It was pretty, pretty nice and economical. It was like 60 pesos for this, including the cream of the inside. And then 140 pesos for the lunch I had before. So like 200 pesos and I'm set for like another three, four hours, I guess. Maybe until dinner or a light dinner. That's, that's really nice. I'm really liking the food scene. Now to figure out whether it's gonna rain, rain properly. So I put on my rain jacket or wait for like 10 minutes and then keep walking again. Let's see how the weather is like. So while fighting with the rain, it rained a few more times. So I had to stop vlogging and put on my raincoat. Um, finally made it to the next stop, Chapultepec. Um, I don't know what to expect about this place, but I saw this sign on the board and next to Chapultepec, the name, they had an elephant sign on it and it looked like it's a huge park. So I decided to come in. Can you see the cloud? Can you hear the clouds roar? So it might still rain. The rain clouds are still around, but I don't really care. Okay, 
also spent quite a bit of time inside that's the part behind me and the panda is because there's also a zoo inside it's a huge park lots of greenery but uh, cops showed up and they said no professional videography inside and there are cctv cameras everywhere so i didn't risk it and i just kind of only made some clips in the beginning and then they interrupted and then i only made when i came out so I, now but anyways yeah go inside check it out if you get the chance there are lots of museums and nice spots to hang out and chill it's like a nice refreshing area in the middle of the city so now i've already done like 23k steps so gonna take the metro on the way back check out how their metro system works familiarize myself with that because i need to get the hang of public transport as well so let's try get back home that was a very interesting experience got in with a sea of people got out with a notion of people never put a thought at it um super packed there is no air conditioned subway here it's just like they put down the windows and there are some fans for circulation but that's about it anyways it's like raining like crazy but about 15 20 minutes by another mode of transport or 20 minutes by foot so i'm just going to walk it should be a straight forward walk um maybe i get a chance to stop by one of the mercados as well but yeah it was hot and humid in there and i couldn't vlog is like as i said so i pushed in pushed out so kind of similar situation as you have in in japan only here um is the police yeah, that are trying to kick people in and they whistle and they make sure the doors are shut and then the metro leaves a whole new experience <laughs> i got to remember it for a while if you remember my rajasthan series in i showed you one of the scenes where the streets the streets were flooded after the rain they seem to have a similar problem the streets are flooded um traffic jam chaos honking kind of feels like home Not the first night when i ventured out to eat was one of the shelters kind of roadside stalls like this but i had tacos i don't know whether it was this one or some other one they more or less look the same but it's like these kind of small stalls all along the road some of them are open late at night as well so one way or other you always end up finding food which is a really good thing out here i keep seeing a lot of these stores by the name oxo o double x o um i don't know I, my guess is there's some sort of convenience store chain like a mexican chain um there are also 7-elevens and stuff around but i guess one day i just want to go inside and see what's inside do they have some like snacks and stuff that i could grab for breakfast on the go or something just curious what that is seen too many of these around the block look <laughs> traffic jam only the bikers getting away So almost 25.5k steps later um back to base to the hotel gonna get some rest edit this vlog um just chill maybe watch some tv a little bit and make a plan for what to do for tomorrow well that's not going to be much of a plan just gonna grab my bag and leave tomorrow anyway but yeah with that uh, this is the rustic wonder signing off i'll see you again in another episode of ola mexico travel series until then take care see you next time